Inferno. Yeah, so a Puerto Rican place opened up by my job. Delish so far. It's so good. I cannot believe how good the food is. Oh my God. Anyway, I hope that I'm looking at the right spot. Yesterday was a problem with that. It's time to go home, people. It's Friday. Get out of this place. What? All right, I'm gonna head home. And I think today I'm gonna go to the movies. Take Teresa to go see Inferno. Um, she never read the book. I did. I like the book. I love Dan Brown. So, maybe today's a good date night. Hmm. We'll see. Let's see if the kids are going to go to their sports or not. I doubt it because it's so cloudy out. Man, the weather has been just blah. Horrible. Lately. I want to fly my drone, but it's just not going to happen. It's windy. It's like it's going to rain or thunder. No one knows. No one knows. Alright, so... Let me focus on the road. To drive my car. Guiando. I'm out. Little girl, you ready to go to the gym? Huh? She's upset <coughs> because for her birthday she wants mellow mushroom and I told her fine I'll get you mellow mushroom and now she doesn't want that now she's confusing me what do you want for your birthday again wow now she wants nothing what love this kid saves me money every day every day taking her to gymnastics and we're off! Oh, not stupid. I can't be fake like that. <laughs> oh man, I crack myself up sometimes, I swear. Anyway, I'm off to take Kimberly to gymnastics and um, then I'm gonna go and work out. Alright, so here's the thing. She doesn't know this. Her birthday is in a few days, okay? Um, so I'm planning to get her something and I'm gonna get her exactly what she wants for her birthday. What she wants for her birthday is a bunch of stuff from Justice, Kimberly, we all know, fashionista. So I'm gonna to run to Justice right now. She thinks I'm trying to find parking. I told her just go inside of gymnastics, go do what you gotta do. Daddy's gonna go inside, I'm gonna find parking, and then I'm then I'm gonna go work out. No, daddy is running all the way back towards our house to go get her. And when I mean all the way to our house, our house is really far. So I'm gonna go all the way back to our house and go to Justice by our house to get her the stuff that she wants and we can hide it without her knowing, okay? Because she is very inquisitive. She will go through everything in the house just to go ahead and find her gift. Um, that's just Kimberly. So anyway, I'm off to Justice. So off I go to her favorite store, Justice, and we'll see if I can get her what she wants. The kid loves this store. Everything she wanted from here was with unicorns. So I'm trying to find the unicorn stuff. There it goes. That is what she wants. Now. Thanks. It's not that I don't know what to get her. It's just, oh, I don't know her size. So the people in the store helped me get everything because I don't want to screw this up. Okay, so I'm going to get Kimberly. What'd you do on your Halloween party? They just bought it up. Do you have candy in there? That's not me. That's not me. Just, Do you have candy in there? That's not me. I just voted on who has the best Wait, please. What? Help me. No, 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 no. About to watch him for now. Inferno? About to watch him for now. The grumpy woman. Inferno. It appears you're out of options. Tell me about the threat known as Inferno. <sighs> Professor.
Mr. Langdon, we need your help. Three days ago, a man killed himself. We think he was part of something much bigger. There was a package in his pocket. And what was it? It's Dante's Inferno. Dante defined our modern conception of hell 700 years ago. But these circles of hell have been rearranged. Why Dante? Why this map of hell? Dante. Dante's death mask. Yes. We've got to get to Florence. I need access to the Dante mask. The Dante mask is no longer here. It was stolen. Here's the security footage. Professor, that looks like you. I have no memory of taking that mask. You did? I just saw you. I want to know what I'm involved with. Why was someone shooting at you? Everything is out of focus. Professor, you are having visions, aren't you? The people behind this would do anything to protect the truth. You have no idea what they're capable of. This is what I have been seeing. Look, look, look. This is not in the original painting. Here's another one. Prophecy. Oh, my God. Dante's Inferno isn't fiction. It's a prophecy. Someone created a plague. Our population is spiraling out of control. Inferno is the cure. They're going to wipe out half the world's population unless we find this virus. They left a trail. You won't be able to trust your own thoughts for a while. Human lives are at stake. If a plague exists, you know what governments will do to get it. The professor has become a liability. Go, go, let's get it. Here, here. There's always a way out. It's nice to have you back, Professor. If this plague is real... Then we only have 48 hours to stop an extinction-level event. I will do everything I can to find it. All right, so Inferno was... It met my, it met, it met my expectations. It really did. It, re it literally... I want to say it matched everything to the book to a T. Ending, a little different, but that's a, that's a common thing. You know, I've noticed so far, every Ron Howard version of any Dan Brown's book, at the end, it kind of really doesn't follow the exact ending of the book, which is fine. I mean, which is fine. I, I would know I was upset during Angels and Demons because the book had a way better ending than the movie did. And I know with The Da Vinci Code, same scenario, had a way better ending than the movie did. But I guess I've acclimated to that and I realized that, you know what, Ron Howard's going to make a different ending on this one too. Hey, but that's okay. The movie met my expectations. Um, I, I mean, if you're, if you're a Dan Brown fan like I am, if you've read all of his books, you need to go watch this one. You really do. Um, from the beginning, you're going to say, wow, this is like just like the book. Everything, even the twists and turns that happen in it, just like the book. I was not disappointed. A little tired during the movie, according to Teresa. I'm, I kind of just kind of dozed off for a second, but that's because I had a busy day, and we saw a late movie. You know, the time right now is uh, 1:30, so we saw a late movie. But the movie was good. It was very good. Matched everything to the book. Um, I think that the only um, there's a few changes that I you, you'll know. You know what? When you see the movie, you'll know and say, yeah this probably should have been changed to match the book. But tomorrow, crazy day, I'm gonna ride my bike in the morning. Um, I'm going to take Kimberly probably shopping to get her Christmas, or not Christmas, give her Halloween outfit. Um, I may get something, I gotta get something to scare them. I am so gonna scare them Halloween morning. Oh my goodness, I am going, you are gonna see this. It is going to just, I am so gonna freak them out. I have to, it's Halloween, okay? I'm not a bad dad, but I have to, you know, add a little, it's like, it's, it's like any family relationship, you know, you get a little woo to it, then I'm, I'm going to do that because they are, they, okay, wait, time, time. Teresa has an ongoing game with me that when I'm coming into the house, so no matter where I'm walking through, she will hide somewhere. And sometimes I have to send the kids ahead of me because she jumps out and literally scares the crap out of me. Okay, this is her ongoing game since we've been married the past for the 20 years. She's always been doing this. And you think that, oh, I know where she's going. She like finds places that I would have never thought she was going to do that at. And she just pops out and scares the crap out of me. I'm waiting for her. Is she, 
<laughs> if she started a pranking vlog, you would see me every day getting scared the crap out of her. I mean, she just really scares the sh She does it every day. Um, but, so I gotta, I gotta pay them back. Because now they're all in on it. So, Halloween morning, I'm gonna scare the crap out of them. I have to. I just have to. I have to. It's like payback time, you know? I do it almost every Halloween, but now that I have a vlog, you guys are gonna see it. Ready for your friend's birthday slash Halloween party tomorrow? Mm -hmm. right. I need a costume. I know. We'll try to work on that tomorrow. <laughs>